my sweet Canary, Shalom. Shalom. And welcome to Culture Buzz. You are about to perform uh, tonight in Tel Aviv. And I want to thank you for taking the break. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, I want to thank uh, Rosa Ashkenazi, the queen of Robetico, because we have to thank her for getting the three of you together. We have here Mehtap Demir from Turkey. We have Yota Neka from Greece. And Mo Karbasi from Israel. So, how did it all start? How did it all start? Mehtap must uh, start because you're from the beginning with this project. It was uh, nearly more than two years, nearly three years ago. Uh, I came to Israel for my field work and we met with Roy Sher, which, uh, who is a director who is a director in this project. He wanted to make a, a 19 minutes documentary film about uh, the Rembetiko, especially Rose Eskenazi. And uh, we, we started with a musician from Israel, one of the music players from Arkats. The second one is uh, Martha Lewis from uh, Cyprus Roots, but from London. And uh, the other one is mine. And uh, we, we met in Israel first. And we started uh, to sing uh, Rosa's repertoire. And we, we went to Istanbul, secondly. And we went to, thirdly, we went to Greece. And uh, during the that way, we try to uh, try to play and sing together uh, Rosa songs, but we met lots of traditional musicians uh, in our film, so we put all together uh, and we did the documentary first. And after that, <laughs> I came. Uh, uh, in my first time was uh, in Jerusalem, the first concert was in Jerusalem. I, I am a traditional singer, uh, Rebetko singer and folk singer in Greece. I love Rosa, we all love Rosa because uh, her song is, uh, is in our uh, DNA. Wow. And uh, uh, many years now we dance and sing them, and the youngest people. So it was a uh, very pleasure to me when uh, Roy invited me to meet uh, all the others to sing, I, I couldn't believe that I will sing my language, my music, I feel it, my music, the, the Rose's uh, music in Greek, it's my music, to sing it in another place, uh, another country, and do, do, do they love it over there? <laughs> of course, they love it, they can understand. I saw the film, it was amazing, and I'm very happy to be on this. Uh, lucky, lucky us. We're lucky us. <laughs> I was the last one to join the project actually. Uh, I live between Seville, in south of Spain, and London, and uh, I sing uh, around the world Sephardi music. Okay. And when I was offered to participate in this project, I was very interested. Um, what mostly attracted me was her character, Rosa's character, her voice, which I admire very much, and also the fact that she, her mother tongue, her mother language was Ladino, Ladino. and she was a Jewish woman, so for me it was a big attraction, and uh, I met these two lovely, amazing mm -hmm. singers, I'm yeah. very lucky to be uh, yes. in such lucky. a group. <laughs> we are the ones who are lucky. Well, we are all lucky then. It's amazing the way, excuse me, the way we fit together. Yes. No. We amazing. are, she the, was the, the queen. The chemistry. Yes. We knew. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And all the, the willing to, to, to do things together. And the musicians too. She so, was the queen of Rembetico. And, and now, now we are three. Three queens. Three princesses. Yes, three princesses. Not queens. It sounds it sound like uh, playing cards. And the fourth three one. Queens. Three queens. Allow me, do you allow me to say? Yes. And the fourth oh. queen is coming. He's on the way. Hey, he's on the way. Mazalto. Mazalto, yes. And we can guess the name. Mazalto? Mazalto is the Shah. Ah, the name. What Rosa. Was that? Well, yeah, the my mother is called Shoshana. So. I'm kidding. Ah, interesting. Yes. The same. I understand that you have already performed uh, 
twice in Greece. Tonight will be your second performance in Israel. Yeah. What about Turkey? Uh, hopefully it will be. <laughs> I mean, we try to organize it, but we have been in uh, the big festival all over the world, South East, South West, in, in USA, Texas. in Texas. Yes. yes, the biggest one. Yeah, biggest one. It was a really great experience for all of us, and uh, so we had a chance. We had a chance to to sing in the Vomex World Music Exhibition in Greece again in October. Uh, in October, it's wonderful. Ceramica. Wonderful. It, it will be, it will be wonderful. Then, then some uh, European uh, towns. Yeah. Germany, Ju Ju Germany, July. Germany, Germany, Greece, Paris, uh, Paris, and Amster Amsterdam. I think Amsterdam, Amsterdam. I don't remember all. And Excellent. we're also going to, I don't know if we're allowed to say, but I'm going to say anyway. <laughs> to Womix, which is another yeah, very important. Yes, hey. yes. Like yes. The Saloniki. Yes, yes. Saloniki and October. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. wonderful. Yes, wonderful. Or to it. Uh, what can we ask you about the music of uh, Rosa Ashkenazi? What do you think is the reason that it is still relevant? Uh, you said that it's in your DNA. Mm -hmm. What is the explanation? I mean, there have been so many, I'm guessing, there have been so many performers for, for Greek uh, Rebetiko, oh, which is basically the equivalent of blues. One way or another? Yes, uh, I feel it that way. Why Rosa is still the queen of Rebetico after so many years? I think besides the songs, the great songs, besides that, uh, Rosa himself, yeah. Rosa's true, Rosa's life, Rosa lived for that. It was uh, uh, when he was singing, she was singing, forgive my English, <laughs> okay. I'm trying. It's a good English. Uh, I, I can um, when when I'm hearing he, her, I can understand that what she tells me, she knows very well deep inside. You believe what you hear. Yes, and she believes it. Mm -hmm. She that songs are I, I, that's the way I I feel the songs. I think that is the the mostly. The amazing voice, of course, but if you think that there are other voices, good enough. The truth, the truth. Authentic. Uh, yes. Authentic. Yes, the authentic. Yes, the truth. The in, truth in doesn't expire. It doesn't have an expiry date. It day. lives forever. Forever, yeah. Yes. And yeah. every singer in his own time can come and interpret it his own way. But the songs, if they are true and beautiful, they will survive. They touch you. Uh, uh, from where she she took. She took this touchable and sensitive uh, way of singing. She took from her roots, because she lived the uh, three. Uh, I mean, she was born as Jewish, and she lived in. Uh, she was born in Turkey. She immigrated to Saloniki. Okay. She, you know, you know, she educated uninf in, in, in uninformal, uh, informal way, but she educated uh, with the roots of culture. That's why she, she, she opened mind in her way uh, with the three great cultures. Maybe we can say the Mediterranean cultures. And allow me to say, if you see Rosa to dance, mm -hmm. you can understand that she dance first from herself, not to see her, but to feel, but for Rosa to feel it. That's the way she was singing. Uh -huh. For her, for her heart, and then to all hearts. Okay. And last thing I would like to say, uh, Rosa went to USA, 1970s, and uh, her formal uh, papers, there, there was a note. She is the own nation. She has a own nation. Sorry. You know. No uh, nationality. No, no nationality. nationality. That's uh, uh, I think. Uh, Important. Thanks to her, we are together yeah. here. Three yes. cultures together. The woman who said no nationality brings three nationalities <laughs> together. And what a wonderful bridge! A yeah, cultural that's bridge. The, yes, that's the bridge of culture. My question to Mehta is You mentioned that Rosa was born in Turkey. Yeah. When you listen to her music, can you detect any Turkish influences? 
Yeah, especially Ottoman influences. Ottoman, Ottoman Makam music influences. Okay. I heard always uh, when she sang. Okay. And one question for Yota, if I may. Yota, the ultimate test for any performer who performs, who dares to perform Rosa Ashkenazi, will be in Greece. How it is received by the Greek audience. How were you received in Greece? Uh, the Greece audience when you was, performed. When I performed. When you Ro performed. Roses. Yes, the, the Sweet Canary. Uh, I wasn't in the project when they performed in Greece. Ah, okay. I wasn't yet in the project. Okay. But I see, and Mehtap can tell us that it was a, a great. Uh, they they accepted uh, with open hearted, and uh, it was a very successful uh, two of, uh, performances. Uh, because it, it was uh, ours. It, it's it, yeah, without it's, border. It is yes, and it's common music, Mediterranean. Yeah. From years, uh, the, the, the three nations uh, share uh, culture together. Okay. And one question for Mo. Mo, as an Israeli, mm -hmm. when you perform in front of the Israeli audience, what do you sense? How are you being received actually, by the audience? Actually, well, apart from the fact that my own career is, uh, well, I don't want to say unfortunately, I'm very fortunate to have a career outside of Israel. I would like to have my career also here and do a lot of things here. But tonight will actually be the first time I perform this repertoire here in Israel. Ah, okay. Yeah, so we have to see. Okay. You have to tell me after the concert. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Hey. Okay. So, uh, ladies, I would like to thank you very much for taking the time. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Welcome. Uh, and uh, I think everybody, both in Turkey and Greece, in Israel, of course, should be grateful for what you are doing, okay. should be grateful for Voyager's efforts, the wonderful okay. documentary and this project. So, we'd like to wish you all the best. And uh, next time we meet uh, Mo, maybe there will be... Uh, Two of us! <laughs> maybe, maybe there will be four queens. Four. Yes. All, all the three queens and one princess. One princess. Yes. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. So good luck. Thank you. Thank you very much. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.